Wiser, the wireless information system for emergency responders, is a resource first responders use to figure out how to deal with hazardous material incidents, like accidents involving tanker trucks or chemical plants. This video explains search known substances, which allows you to delve quickly into Wiser's deep set of substance information. Let's get started. When you touch search known substances, you can search simply by name or by the chemical registry number known as the CASRN, the UNNA, which is the United Nations North America Transportation ID, the standard transportation commodity codes known as STCC rail car identifiers. Notice that search looks for your term anywhere in the substance name. So if you enter dioxide, carbon dioxide will appear in your search results. Another feature is that search maintains a history, so you can quickly access your recent substance searches. Wiser offers comprehensive overviews and instructions for about 500 substances. It aggregates information from many sources, including the National Library of Medicine's Hazardous Substances Data Bank and the Emergency Response Guidebook 2016. For example, hydrogen chloride. You'll see small and large isolation zones covered in the green pages of the ERG, as well as isolation zones for specific types of containers. For some substances, this information is provided data directly from the ERG guidebook. If you encounter a substance that is not in the WISER database, you can still access the emergency response guidebook information for that substance. For example, if you search for hexaldehyde, the guide page for this substance is readily available. I mentioned that Wiser includes massive amounts of information. We'll go into more detail about that now, starting with how that information is displayed. The first time you signed into Wiser, it asked you to select a user profile. Wiser customizes your list of hot links based on your user profile selection. All of its data is available to everyone, but first responders will see a different list here than a hospital provider sees on their screen. So keep that in mind if I reference a hot link that isn't at the top of your list. You still have it, it's just under one of the other groupings. As a first responder, suppose you arrive at an accident scene and see an overturned tanker that is clearly carrying chlorine. There's a fire and the driver is injured. From this main chlorine screen, you can access all of Wiser's information about the substance. When I touch chlorine, all of Wiser's information about the substance appears, separated into useful sections. The first thing you'll want to do is probably learn how to protect yourself. You'll find handling instructions in the Equipment PPE section. Since you're dealing with a fire, you need to quickly establish a protective distance. There are three ways to do this. Touch the Protective Distance hotlink, touch the Protective Action Zone icon in the toolbar, or select the hazmat grouping, and then touch Protective Distance. After entering location and wind direction, as well as other information regarding the spill size, Wiser returns Protective Distance Isolation Zones and a map. See the Protective Distance tutorial for specific instruction. Now let's treat the driver. The Clinical Symptoms section overviews signs and symptoms. Touch Medical to learn more about treatment, health effects, OSHA standards, and much more. Fire Procedures explain how you should protect against and react to a fire. If the substance you're working with lists an acute care section, touch it. This is additional information from NLM's CHEM research that focuses on management and includes useful information like agent identifiers, ABC reminders, and pediatric vulnerabilities. The acute care section is only available for a small set of chem substances. 
Back at the scene of our chlorine spill, you notice the substance is mixing with water. Wiser includes chemical reactivity tools that you can assess from the hot link on the main chlorine page, or from the hazmat grouping. You can filter to find outcomes when the substance mixes with water or other chemicals. These factors can drastically change the way you approach a situation. This hazmat grouping offers many other resources. Touch NFPA classification to see health, flammability, instability, and special instructions. From chlorine's main screen, a first responder will see key information, identification information including specific codes, states, colors, and odors, and reactivities instructions to better protect yourself and the surrounding area. As we mentioned before, this information is available under its related groupings. Review each one to learn where to find the resources you need in an emergency. The Environment section includes information about outcomes for aquatic life and the atmosphere, instructions for notifying the National Response Center, non-human toxicity levels, and ecotoxicity values. The app also includes biological data. You can learn about signs and symptoms, indicators, treatment, and other information aggregated from medical resources, including the WMD Response Guidebook, and imagery to help you figure out what you're dealing with in a situation. Wiser, developed by the National Library of Medicine at the National Institutes of Health strives to aggregate the resources emergency responders need and provide those resources in easy-to-use ways that help protect you and the people you fearlessly protect.